Once upon a time there was a young boy named Jack who loved exploring the woods behind his house. One day, while hiking through the trees, Jack stumbled upon a small, mossy door carved into an ancient oak tree. That's weird, Jack said to himself. I don't remember seeing this before. His curiosity got the better of him and Jack decided to open the tiny door. As soon as he pulled it open, a bright light began to shine from within the tree trunk. Jack shielded his eyes with his hand and peeked inside the door. Beyond it was a shimmering portal that seemed to lead to another world. Jack looked around to make sure no one was watching, then took a deep breath and stepped through the portal. Jack couldn't believe his eyes when he emerged on the other side of the portal. He was standing in the middle of a lush forest filled with the tallest trees he had ever seen. Brightly colored flowers carpeted the forest floor and he could hear birds singing sweet songs all around him. But the most amazing part was the tiny winged creatures that were fluttering about the treetops. Fairies. Jack gasped. The fairies glowed in shades of blue, pink, and green. One of them, a little female fairy with amber eyes and leaf-like wings, spotted Jack and flew down to greet him. Hello there. I'm Fern. Who are you? she asked in a tiny, tinkling voice. Jack introduced himself to Fern and explained how he had stumbled upon the secret door in the woods behind his house. You found the doorway to our world, the fairy realm. Fern explained excitedly. Come on, I can't wait to show you around. Jack eagerly followed Fern along a forest path, gazing around in wonder at all the incredible sights of the fairy realm. Fern showed him the fairy village, which was made of intricately woven sticks, leaves, shells, and flowers. The fairies lived in tiny mushrooms' houses and drank nectar from inside flowers. Jack got to watch the fairy bakers make treats from berries and nuts, and the fairy seamstresses sew delicate garments from rose petals. Fern introduced Jack to all her fairy friends, who were delighted to meet a human boy. After exploring the village, Fern took Jack to see the fairy schoolhouse where fairy children learned how to fly, bake, and use their magic. Jack even got to try his hand at casting a few simple fairy spells. Under Fern's guidance, he made a flower bloom, levitated a rock, and turned a leaf different colors. After finishing the fairy school lessons, Fern told Jack she had one more special place to show him. We're going to visit the wisest, oldest fairy in our realm, the Fairy Queen. Jack was thrilled. Fern carried a tiny glowing lantern as she led Jack through the darkest part of the woods, explaining that the Fairy Queen lived deep in the ancient heart of the forest. Finally, they came to a clearing centered around an enormous, towering oak tree. In a hollow at the base of the tree was an ornate doorway decorated with gems, flowers, and vines. She's just inside, Fern whispered. She led Jack up to the door and gave a soft knock. A warm voice from within called, Come in. Fern and Jack entered the tree hollow, which was a cozy room lined with books, jars of magical ingredients, and glittering crystals. Sitting on an elegant throne of woven twigs and flower petals was the fairy queen, who had long, flowing hair in all the colors of the rainbow. 
her shimmering wings were as tall as she was. Welcome, young man, she said kindly to Jack. I am glad you are here. The fairy queen told Jack many secrets of fairy magic and explained how important it was that the fairy realm stay hidden and protected. Jack promised he would never tell any other humans where the secret door led. As a thank you gift, the fairy queen gave Jack a tiny pouch of fairy dust that would grant him three special wishes. Fern and Jack said goodbye to the fairy queen and all the new fairy friends they had met. Jack couldn't believe the amazing day he'd had. When it was time to return home, Fern led Jack back through the forest to the magic door in the oak tree. I hope you'll come visit again soon, said Fern. This can be our special secret. Jack thanked her and all the fairies for their hospitality. Then he stepped back through the door, watched its seal shut behind him, and made his way out of the woods. Back home, Jack peeked inside the pouch of fairy dust the queen had given him. He decided to save those three special wishes for when he really needed magic. He would definitely be returning to the fairy realm again soon for more adventures with his new fairy friends.